<laughs> Sorry, everyone. Spider Blades and Fur Coin back again with another app. It's another part of our Let's Play of Spy Box and Dry Cereal. <sighs> sorry, sorry, I guess I have to sleep in. But anyways, let's get going. Where are we last time? This part. Oh yeah. Why did I... Are those like rhinos? <laughs> I fought them tooth and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. He... Oh, so he has a clue. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor x-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. Huh? Hmm. That's very awkward. Huh, Furcorn? Indeed it is. A duck needs his fiber. Hmm. Let's see. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. That... That takes care of it. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. This ticker looks like it needs winding. I found the note. I'll be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction with that punch card. I just need to find it, then figure out where to place it. Look at this pen. He must have been trying to write a letter from his heart. If only I could read the note he swallowed. I don't know. What's 
shaped container, Professor Quack. This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. <laughs> Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. Hmm, <laughs> it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. Wow, so it does. And it tastes great in soup. Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Hmm. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's the spy tracker. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? And I win. Hail, they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. Why don't you give me one order of chicken knuckles to go? It's your funeral, honey. But for you, how about this? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Mm. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. What? Really? Really? You'd like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Let's see. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. Hmm. And Fireberry's activity pack. Right, boys? Yeah. Yeah. 
you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play with some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play goldfish for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. Hmm. Here it is. Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right. I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. Ooh. Got any kings? Do fish, sir. Hmm. Got any tens? Nice try, but you need to go fish. <laughs> <laughs> Got any twos? No, sir. Go fish. Nine. Go fish. Nope. Got any sevens? What a fun game this is. Yeah. Got any threes? Got any queens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Seven? Got any kings? Yes. Got any eights? Nice try, but go you fish. need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any jacks? Nope, go fish. Got any sixes? Nice. Got any nines? <laughs> Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Okay. Got any eights? Go fish. Got any twos? <laughs> Go fish. Got any seven? Mm-hmm. Uh, that makes a set, sir. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you... Go fish! Need to go fish. Got any tens? Got any sixes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Okay. Seven. Got any twos? Yes. Got any jacks? Go fish. <laughs> Got any aces? <laughs> Got any threes? Go, sir. Go fish. Okay. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any threes? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Okay. Two. Got any fours? Nope. Go, go fish. fish. <laughs> Got any twos? I'll just take those off your hands. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Okay. Five. Mm. Got any tens? Yes. Got any kings? Go fish. Got any fives? Okay. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Mm-hmm. Got any threes? Go fish, sir. Okay. Got any tens? Yes, I do. And I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any nines? <laughs> go fish. I love this game. Got any twos? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Okay. Got any three? Mm-hmm. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Got any key? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any jacks? I'll just take those off your hands. Oh, I think it's time to take a break. Until the next time, uh, for tomorrow, more monsters will pop up, so, um, that's about it. And for the monster fans, very kind. Sorry.